people have this thing where they are always telling you, oh, um, if if someone if I know someone to be a bad person and I see them, I see you moving with them. It's not my business to come and say anything. It's your business. It's your responsibility. You need to be able to warn your friends when you see danger around them. I'm not talking about gossip. I'm not talking about eh, this person eh, and I've heard certain things. What the things you know as facts you need if you know someone you dealt with someone in a financial um or in a business um um in 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 a business situation and the person say um cheated you if the person swindled you if the person um shortchanged you if the person kept your money you need to make this clear when you see them cavorting with someone you know i have a friend um so i so i i, I went to a, a place a program and then i met this guy who in fact to be honest i had wanted to make a connection with him because you know i thought you know he was someone who could who, who i mean who professionally was good to get to know and the minute I mentioned the person's name, he said, well, hold on. And this was this is a person who does not engage in idle conversation or um, 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 gossipy conversation. No, I mean, this is someone who absolutely has no time for that. And this person said, hold on, do you mean so-and-so? I said, yes. I mentioned his full name. He described the person. I said, yes. He said, please, for your own good. I know the person sounds good and they sound like they're a great business connection. They, they sound like, you know, and I'm sure he has told you all the awesome things you're going to be able to do together. I said, yes, you know, as a matter of fact, he talked about the fact that we could um, do some projects together and there was something that we could do, I think, almost immediately together. So... Then he said, so so I asked him why, and he said, well, previously, in fact, he mentioned about two different scenarios where he had entered into business with this individual, and this individual has basically either swindled him, tried to swindle him, or, uh, you know, basically um, take monies and not distribute them to the parties involved it was all very you know messy so i mean i immediately knew because in fact i was going to contact the person the the following day to have a meeting and you know see what the way forward was and then all of a sudden the person had been um revealed revealed to not exactly be an ideal business partner and i was grateful i was actually grateful that you know this information because the level of um commitment that i was the time and everything that i was going to commit to whatever we had business we had decided to um, go ahead with it, it was not i did not it, I was just very grateful. You see someone, someone who has a history of hurting other people. You see them, you know, moving around your circles, your friends. They are going about doing the same things. You know, they're they trying, they're going about trying to do the, the same bad thing that they did to you, to other people. You know someone to be someone who cannot keep information to themselves you know this person as someone who's gossipy you know this person you know that if they if they are around a person nothing good ever happens and you have seen them in action you have seen them do these things to other people to you yourself and then you see this person you know nobody can ever fully know it how can i know someone i probably just met but you know you do not see danger around someone and then let it come and bite them. It makes no sense. It's like I'm sitting there, you see a snake 
coming near my feet and then he just basically be like oh no it's not my business and you know i don't want to cause any problems you are just as bad as the you know you know the, the person who goes about doing bad things to people in fact you're worse because you could have prevented you know whatever it is that, that is about to happen next i do not think friends who do the oh it's not my business thing i really do not think they are good friends they are not good friends in fact they are not your friends if someone sees danger around you and they shut their mouths they are your enemy they always pray that danger will come for you and this is not just about people who do you know bad things like oh people who will physically hurt you or people who will steal from you or people who even the little things there are people who are manipulators you know they have done they have said and done things to you that have fucked up it with your brain or with your mind you know you have seen how how they are in action when they are trying to psychologically harm people you know there are people that you can never prove that they harmed you because they did it psychologically so you you, you don't even know how to start explaining to people you know, you don't know how to start. You can't go and say, this this guy almost made me crazy or this woman almost made me crazy, you know, because of the way in, in which she tried to get into my mind. There are people, look, you will see the thing with your eye. They will swear to heaven and earth that you didn't see it. And they will do it so emphatically, so much so that you start to doubt your own sanity. There are people like that. They can harm you, yes, to that kind of magnitude. And so it's, this is not my business type of situation. I mean, I, anybody knows me. I hardly care about anything aside maybe myself and my close relations and people, people that I call friends. Things that are not my business are not my business, to be honest with you. Sometimes things are happening right in front of my face and I don't care. I'm the person who's going to sit there sipping some ice water while some strangers fight over there and not even feel like getting up to watch. I don't care. But when it involves my friends, people I say I care about, and I see that this person is is someone who goes about doing, you know, you can say, oh, people don't listen. And so what? Tell them. Tell them if they don't listen today, Tomorrow, they will come to the realization. And one day, they will come to the realization. And even if they don't come and tell you that, eh, hmm, that thing you told me, it has come. No, even if they don't come and tell you that, it's fine. You've done your part. You, when they come to the realization, it will be in their head. And they will know in their heart of hearts that you tried to tell them. And at least, you know, having some amount of information about the person, you know, even... Even if they don't believe you, they will be careful with the person. That's all. They will just go in with their eyes open, knowing that this thing could happen. And so then they can protect themselves very well, even if they're going into, you know, they, they, they're getting to know this person. So it's your business. It's your business. It really is your business. You are supposed to. That is why there are things such as sex offender registry. You know somebody has raped your friend before. Then you see them, you know, being friendly with someone you know you care about. You know, knowing the history of the person, then you just say, oh, it's not my business. And then the same thing happens to someone else. How can you sleep at night? How can you say it's not your business when someone goes around hurting other people? Someone is a thief. You know when this person worked for you, he was a thief. This whole famanya, me leave it to God attitude we really have is really something, you know, it spoils a lot. Someone came to work for you. They were a thief. They stole from you. They stole proprietary information. They probably shared um, um, company information that they weren't supposed to share. They did all kinds of things. And then you hear that your friend is going to hire this person or someone you know is going to hire this person. Nobody's saying, you know, towards their opportunity. No, you have a duty to tell this person. When I employed this person, he did A, B, and C. 
I am not saying he's going to do A, B, and C, and D with you. I'm saying that when he encounter, when I encountered him or her, this is what happened. Always don't go and say, ah, this person is a thief. No, don't say that. Just narrate up to the part that you are involved, that you saw, that you are sure about. This person wants to my handkerchief. This person wants to my hairbrush. This person wants to my computer. Factual information. Then they can ask this person, oh, I hear that you once stole Asimesi's computer. What is the story behind that? If they talk to this person and they are satisfied with the information that they have and decide to keep the person around them, you have done your best. There should be no hard feelings. And if you do something bad to someone and they meet you, they see you hovering around someone else and they try to warn them, you should not be offended by that. Especially if, you know, if you have, if you know in your heart of heart, you know whether you did it or you didn't. Whatever it is, if you know that you did, you did it to this person, if, they, if you hear they are warning you, they are warning someone else about it, you should not get defensive. You truly should not. If you have stolen from someone, they, they, they reserve the right to tell others that when they dealt with you, there was so-and-so problem. Just protect your friends. I don't protect your friends. You, it, why must the thing that happened to you happen to somebody else? Why? Why, why must you? You suffered, so they should also suffer some, so that they will learn their lessons. However, it's absolute, there's so much unnecessary suffering in this world. It's, it's absolutely unnecessary. So you married somebody, the person was abusive, the person was manipulative. You, you got a divorce and then you said, oh, it's no longer my business. The person is out of my life, so it's no longer my business. We are all guilty of it, you know. I mean, if it's a stranger, obviously, you, I, you, wouldn't, you would not feel inclined to. But if it's someone who's close to you, this person comes back and then comes and is looking to be with your friend or your whatever, and you know the kind of danger this person poses, and then you keep quiet. At least say something. Say this person did to so and so. People, human beings have inklings. They are not. People are not dumb. People are very intuitive. They have more than likely also spotted a, a, you know a, a behavior, something, something maybe that is indif- indicative of what you have seen. So once you you tell them the factual information, they will say, "Wait a minute." I think I have seen such, you know, traits, traces of such traits. And then they would just be careful. Nobody's saying spoil friendships or spoil really. They would just be careful. That is all. I don't, I believe in minding my business when it comes to everything else. But I don't believe when a person is in danger, you need to mind your business. People are dangerous. People can be dangerous. We all have the 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 we we can all get to the point where you know we do things that are not right to other people but the people we have done it to they reserve the right to tell others about their experience with us you know it, you i mean First of all, they should obviously confront you. If they haven't done that well, then that is, you know, the first point of call is that their relationship with you should be clear. You did this to me. I have confronted you. You you accepted it. So, you know, we have that down. And so when you go to relay that information to someone who's close to you, who can be easily heard by this person, then you are given factual information, not conjecture, not concern, not I think, I think, not I heard, I heard. Factual information, things they did to you as a person or things they did to someone close to you that you have information about. So, tell your friends, warn your friends. People can be bad. You see bad people around your friends. Don't say it's not your business. <laughs>